Capture the objectives. <clears throat> Securing A. Alpha locked down. What is happening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sergeant Ruby and today I am bringing you a game of Domination on Raid. I am using the MTAR with Grip and Fast Mags and my perks are Hardline, uh, Fast Hands and Dexterity which sounds different from Quick Draw, Sleight of Hand and Marathon or Marksman or whatever it was back in Modern Warfare 3. But anyway, how's it going guys? I felt the need to do another video. I'm extremely sleep deprived right now kind of a little bit cranky, a little bit crazy, um, which is all good, and I'm desperately trying to get my sleep schedule back together because I have work tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. Isn't that going to be fun? But anyway, today I'm going to be talking to you about why I do YouTube, or why I've done YouTube in the past and why I've come back to it, and basically what I want to do for my channel and around my channel. So I started doing YouTube commentaries roughly about two years ago and I had I wouldn't say a fairly successful channel I had a small channel of about 50 odd subscribers and um, then I kind of got into the notion of doing this seriously and actually taking my time to do my videos work on my commentary work on my pieces work on myself and I started a new channel which is what you're viewing this on and the reason I got into YouTube, I've probably gone over it before, but it was because I watched C Nana's Hutch and Trump, and them doing what they do best, which is talking nonsense and making people laugh and having a having a damn good time doing it. And I looked at these guys and I thought, well, I'm pretty much like these guys. I mean, I have a lot to say. Um, I'm quite quirky in the way that I can make people laugh quite easily because I am quite quirky. I find that works to my advantage a lot of the time. And, you know, I enjoy playing video games and I enjoy talking to people. And I enjoy talking about random com uh, random topics. And I got myself a HD PVI. It was in the height of summer when I was working in a kitchen. Um, I was pulling in a crazy amount of money. Absolutely crazy amount of money. And... A lot of it I don't. I don't actually have any of that money left. The HD PVR, my TV, and my base are pretty much all I have left of that blissful summer. But anyway, I digress. Um, and I thought, well, I can do it too. So I bought myself a HD PVR straight off the bat from Amazon, 160 quid. Um, I already had my Turtle Beach gaming headset which I managed to get to work with my computer and I set about doing commentaries. My first video was actually a test of Red Dead Redemption one of the endings to a stranger mission called uh, uh, Daedalus and Son? I think that's what the the name of the mission was called but I d once again I digress um, and it kind of went down alright I guess it was in black and white because I didn't have a HDTV at the time and you know I just thought to myself well uh, if I can't get the quality right, I'll put it off for a while until I get the quality right, and then I'll start doing commentary. So, I waited a while, pl played around with my settings, found out it wasn't going to work, so I got myself a new TV. Um, and with my headset and everything, because I had my HD PVR, I could go into Modern Warfare 3, uh, Modern Warfare 2, sorry, and, you know, just dick about, basically and, you know, make random stupid clips. But my first official commentary was on the student riots and my two cents about the student riots. And that went over quite well. I actually got a little bit of hate on a fit on, uh, on Facebook because people were siding with the rioters and weren't able to take another point of view into the equation because I was of pretty much the same age as the, some of the people that were rioting and some of the people that um, had friends or relatives or you know boyfriends, girlfriends, what have you, in amongst the thick of it. Um, and it, it actually went over really well. 
Um, I got a lot of praise off my co college lecturers, people at college, my parents, my friends, my work colleagues. I got a lot of praise for it, and it really gave me a boost. It was like, okay, um, I know that I can do this. I know what I'm able and capable of doing. I know my limitations. I know, basically, I know, I know my, uh, what's the word? I know my onions. There we go. And I know people. Which is a really great thing that I've managed to pick up through working through the catering trade, is I know people. Obviously, with the video that I put up yesterday, I don't know women all, all that well, but that has been resolved. I'll do it in another video, probably tomorrow's, and yeah, I'll get all that sorted out. But, um, but yeah, I really thought, you know, I could prop properly make a go of this, and then I lose my job and that really puts a dampener on everything that I was trying to set out to do because I wasn't trying to use YouTube to supplement my income I was using YouTube as an outlet for my creative juices I mean I'm a musician, I sing, um, I play bass guitar, I play a little bit of the keyboard, I dick about on the keyboard and for some strange reason I feel the need to uh, do little things on Photoshop that make no sense at all, um, which it, it, it has the occasion to be uh, quite fun. But um, I digress once again, I keep doing that and sooner or later it's going to get really annoying. But as you can see I've taken out the uh, interval between the two domination halves, so you know, flawless editing, engage. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Now that I've come to the realization that be, I have to be realistic in that, you know, not many people have the ability or are lucky enough to be able to sit down and go, okay, I have a big enough subscriber base, I have a big enough viewership that I can do this consistently, realistically, as my career. And really, after I take, uh, after I took my three months off away from YouTube to deal with a lot of shit that was going on in my head, I came back. Admittedly, it wasn't a, a long return. I think I did one video and then I lost my vot motivation again, and then um, I just didn't do anything. I wasn't playing games to capture footage. I was playing games to relax, have fun, and basically hang out with my friends, which is really what gaming has always been about for me is hanging out with friends uh, meeting some awesome people chatting with some awesome people and possibly you know working with them in the future and then I sat down with myself at the start of my holiday and thought right I have my HDPDR I have Black Ops 2 I have topics that I, I want to talk about I have things in my head that can't just stay in my head otherwise I will turn them over and over and over and they'll never get resolved either that or it will slowly send me insane which could possibly still happen I guess so now that I've made the conscious decision to go okay I have these topics in my head I have what I want to talk about I have things that I could possibly interest people with I could possibly educate people with and I take all the things that I've learned over the past three months and hopefully I, I will pass those on to someone else and they will pass them on to someone else and it will become a, kind of like a chain of knowledge like a pool of knowledge that has stemmed from me and outlying sources that I've gathered the information from and everything will be amazing may not happen but it might you uh, never really can tell with information YouTube and the internet but now that I'm back, I want to do a lot more Let's Plays and a lot more content, uh, a lot more diverse content, instead of just shelling out Call of Duty game after Call of Duty game, match after match after match of domination of cherry pick games where, you know, I, I predict that we'll do well. And even though I, I have 80 subscribers, and I thank every single one of you for sticking around, although 
99% of you don't actually watch my videos. Excuse me. Knew that was going to come somewhere. Um, 90, 98% of you don't actually watch the videos that I've been putting up over the last couple of days. But hopefully that will change as you're seeing more and more of me in your sub boxes. And I really want for my channel in the new year to be something that I've grown and nurtured and has become sort of a part of me. YouTube will always be a part of me. It will always be a certain part of my life where I can look... It's not going to last forever. Nothing lasts forever. But it's a part that I can look back and go, I did that. I built something from the ground up and I have people to thank for it. I also have myself to thank for it and people that stood by me, supported me, what have you. Whatever I do in life, be it become a co-managing director of one of the greatest media companies in the world, or I stay at my job for the rest of my life. But it's all circumstantial. This one's just finished up. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, that way you'll get all the latest from me, how many videos I've uploaded, what I had for breakfast, and how much of a hangover I had last Saturday night.